What happened with the appointment? Oh my god. What are you doing? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Bro, that is <laughs> sick. You <laughs> freaking oh, yeah. oh shoot! <laughs> hey guys, so Patrick, Patrick Ben David, uh, Pat asked me to make sure I sell the dream. So I thought we'd get the Audi wrapped. I told you guys I'd show you what it looks. That's not my car, you guys. That's that's some Rolls Royces. I don't even know what that's doing. I don't even know why that's here right now. But we got the Audi wrapped, Patrick. All right, just a quick look, real quick. Nice uh, lower profile, some twenty inch rims. Right, nice black grill. It's a beautiful car, you know? Uh, I got involved in financial services when I was 19. They talked about saving money. And so the choice was buy a new car or wrap your car. You gotta ask yourself, Bobby, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? You gotta, over here. What, you gotta wrap your car, right? You gotta wrap your car or you gotta buy a new car, right? And so I was like, man, new car, wrap a car, save money. Because we're in the business of finance, I make sure that I wrap my car so that I can save money and invest in assets that appreciate because that's what investments are about. But at the same time, you know, we were hanging out down the street and we started looking at some Rolls Royces, right? We didn't know, should we maybe, should we get a new car with, with that? I don't know. What do you think? Should we get a new car? And so this is a beautiful car here. You see this ghost, you guys. And then we got, right? That's a beautiful car. You got Ferraris, you got McLarens, you got a Lamborghini, Lamborghini, right? But I'll tell you this, guys, I started in the business at 19. Uh, I remember going to Toys R Us with my dad and uh, we'd go to the toy section and we would buy this little toy car and we'd go home and we'd make it. And at that point, when you're a little kid, anything is possible. And I remember telling myself, man, one day I'm gonna drive a car like this. One day I'm gonna have a chance to have, have something like this. And uh, getting involved in business, learning how to uh, be an entrepreneur, it wasn't easy, it was tough, right? A lot of people told me no. A lot of people started with me and, and, and quit the business, they didn't make it. A lot of people told me that that business didn't work. Uh, a lot of people questioned what I was doing, you know? And sometimes when you, when you try to help people and they say, hey, I'm not interested, you feel rejected, or they tell you I'm gonna do it and then they don't, you feel deceived or you feel, you know, your, your heart kind of uh, gets hurt a little bit when you're going out there and you're trying so hard and it's not working and you're not seeing results and you're not getting it and you're wondering, will it ever happen for me? Will it ever happen for me? Will it ever happen for me? And thank God for entrepreneurship. Thank God for America, by the way. I'm so grateful to God. I'm so grateful to, to PHP, by the way, the jersey I rep. I'm so grateful to this jersey. Nine years ago, Patrick and Jen had a vision of starting something and I firmly believed in him because everything he ever said, he kept his word doing and he changed my life. And that's the power of a mentor. That's the power of uh, of a business, of being an entrepreneur. It's hard to do things like this, being a server at Red Lobster. I know so many people that are watching this right now, that are watching this right now, and you have a great job, and it's a job, and you're doing your best, but unfortunately, that's not paying you what you're worth. And until you make a decision that you're gonna go pay yourself what you're worth and become an entrepreneur, you may miss out on some of those dreams that you have for yourself and for your family. But I'm so grateful that my dad took me to Toys R Us and, and bought this little car for me, this little plastic car, and it was like a Lamborghini. And I had two cars, right? One was a Lamborghini and one was a Ferrari. And I remember saying, man, what if, what, what if one day I could buy a Ferrari? What if I could walk into a dealership and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, a Ferrari showed up, right? What would happen if a Ferrari showed up out of nowhere? What would happen? And what would that be like? And what would that feel like? What would it feel like? What would it feel like if you bought a Ferrari, baby? Yeah. Hey guys, so good news, Patrick. I took your advice. We got that wrap, but we also got this. We picked this up today. 488 Ferrari, guys. Let me Surprise show you. Surprise my brother. Let me see if I can, I don't know how to flip this thing. Let me see here. Let me see here. He's about to be surprised. Let me actually park it. Let me see if I could park it and then go grab him real quick. Go grab him real quick. Hold on. Before, so you guys can see his reaction. I don't even know if you're, if you're gonna be able to see his reaction or not. So let me see here. Oh, he, oh, damn it, damn it. He found me, you guys, he found me. He found me, he found me. Oh, he didn't find me, that's somebody else. All right, let's see here where he is. Let's see here where Jonathan is. Let's see here where he is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see what he says. Let's see what he says. I gotta park this thing. Hold on. 
What's up, everybody? Where's my Where's my brother? Over there. Maybe. Is this your appointment? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna come in right now. Right in. Wait. What's happening? What's What's happening with those people? What happened with the appointment? Huh? What happened with the appointment? Oh my God! What are you doing? <laughs> Bro, that is <laughs> sick. You <laughs> freaking. Oh, shoot. Right. What the heck? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Hey, my mita. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. It's nice to see you, by the way. Can you see what's right over there? Oh, my God. Wait, what? what? Why are you crying, woman? It's on camera. The world's going to see this. Why are you crying? I'm so proud of you, Bobby. I'm happy for you. Aww. All right, y'all. So dad's coming outside right now. Dad's coming outside. He doesn't know what's happening. So we're going to surprise him. And you're going to see his face in a second. Here he comes. Got my beanie. <laughs> what is that? Huh? What the heck is that? What is that in the driveway? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> hey, asshole, Bobby. That's a new toy, man. Huh? That's a new addition to our family. Oh my god. Wow. And Elvis is not here. No, there's no Elvis. This was a joke. <laughs> you said, come on and come on and say hi to him. This is like Elvis Presley, just <laughs> as good. <laughs> come on and say hi to Elvis. He goes on my Linda, man. Wow. You remember when you, you remember when you bought me the model one? Yes, of course. Yeah. It's beautiful. Come take a look. What's that? That's nice. Oh, it's gorgeous. What's up, Papito? <laughs> did you really buy this? Oh, I did. Huh? I did. Bye. I totally bought it. Really? Yes, I really bought it. Oh my God. You went from a Rolls Royce to a Ferrari. Yes. <laughs> get close on my ground, I can't even get in here. <laughs> oh. 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 Wow. This is different than the one we wrote. It's beautiful. What you thinking? I think it's absolutely nuts, man. This is a machine. You ready to get yours? Yeah, heck yeah. MD, sure. next is what? Ownership? Next is next ownership. Next is ring? Next is the ring. Right. And a bigger ring. And then and what? What are you getting? What's your going to be your first exotic? Uh, this is exotic? It's unbelievable. Uh, will probably be maybe a, I knew a it was GTR. coming. Ooh, GTR. Yeah. GTR. Uh, I told you. What do you think? Yeah. I never told you, you Georgie. What do you think? Well, I think it's beautiful. You probably talked to more than me. Congratulations. God bless you. Why are you crying? told me, don't tell my dad that I got you crying? You gotta say something to the to the group. To the, say something to the crowd. Why are you crying? Okay, look. guys, that's my mom. She's a crybaby. All right, she's just gonna cry now. All right, Uncle Lenny. What do you think? That's bitching, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Then he used to watch me when I cut. That's what professionals are. Danny made this happen today. I appreciate, I appreciate it. it. And I appreciate uh, as well as Eric for making this happen. And that was another referral from Patrick. And I appreciate the company. I appreciate our team, Team Unity. I appreciate my partners, my our, our sidelines. I appreciate all, all the families that we've helped that trusted us. Uh, because, of, because of you, these dreams are able to come, through, uh, come true today because of you. So with that being said, let's take a look at the car. Right, beautiful 488 Ferrari. Guys, look at this motor. Look at the motor, man. Look at the motor. Right, Ferrari. Guys, it's still, as I'm getting in the car right now in a minute, driving this thing off the lot, and I still can't believe it happened. I still can't, and I just wanna tell you, man, it is so freaking possible if you don't give up on your dreams. It's so freaking possible. These are the air vents. I think it's supercharged, right? It's turbocharged. Turbocharged, right? 661 uh, horsepower, uh, 1,000 torque, I don't know, okay? Uh, no, I'm just playing. Not a thousand torque, right? You got the seats inside here, guys. Let me show you these seats. What kind of seats are these, Danny? 
Daytona seats. Daytona seats. Daytona seats, you guys. So with that being said, right, you got your engine, your Ferrari side, woo, woo, woo. And uh, I'm excited, you guys. I'm excited. Let me show you the car real quick. Nice Ferrari. Guys, look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Man. Man, oh man. Guys, this is a dream. This is a dream. It's a dream. You know how many other little kids out there have dreams like this? For the parents watching this, never tell your kids that something's impossible. Don't, don't limit their dreams. Tell them it's possible. Believe in them. You may not know how. Maybe it hasn't happened for you, but it still can happen for you, number one, if you're still willing to keep, believe in your own dreams, right? And for those of you guys that have kids, man, the kids have this imagination where if you let them dream, anything is possible. Uh, I thank my family. I thank my mom and my dad for, for being my heroes, for always supporting me. I thank Patrick and Jen for having the vision to do something big and changing people's lives um, because of you guys, because of God because of God, because none of this would happen in my life if we're extremely blessed, I thank, I thank God tremendously. Uh, but none of this would happen without dreaming, right? Dreaming, keep, keep dreaming, never stop dreaming. And it's just a matter of time before you come to a dealership like this and you get in your, whatever your own dream is, by the way, maybe it's not a, maybe it's not a Ferrari, maybe you're a Lambo guy, Mr. Edwin, right? But uh, just an absolute beautiful car and uh, I think this is how you start it, by the way. That's how you turn it off. Let me let me show you how to start it. Oh, oh! With that being said, guys, we're gonna go live our dreams, and uh, I hope you live yours as well. And if you're not in PHP, you gotta get in PHP, man, because this is what it makes dreams come true. Take care, everybody.